What's up, everybody? I'm Ricky Doyle, joined alongside uh, Milan Lucic of the Boston Bruins, who is a uh, much bigger guy than I am, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to uh, maintain my composure. Yeah, but I guess, Milan, first of all, I just want to ask you about uh, Dennis Seidenberg the other night, throwing down. I know you've recently been voted the uh, toughest player in the NHL by your peers, and I mean, I, I wasn't voted the uh, toughest member of the new media team here at Nesson, but can you uh, shed some light on, you know, what it's like to see a guy like Seidenberg, somebody who doesn't throw down very often, to get out there and, you know, kind of show, you know, tell McQuaid, stay away, I can handle this. Yeah, it was good to see. You know, uh, you know, I'm a big b believer of, of guys taking care of their own business, and, you know, I'm also a big believer in, in, in teammates tipping up for themselves, and you know, that was a case where, like you said, you know, Dennis wanted to take care of his own business, and, you know, he definitely did, and, and, you know, he, like you talked about, it was a little bit un unexpected because, you know, we don't see him fight that often. But, you know, he's uh, he's kind of a, a freak in the gym the, when, when you see him lifting weights. And, and uh, you know, he's got a lot of power uh, behind him uh, when he throws hits and, and, as you saw, if he throws a punch. Now, is there any other, I guess, quote-unquote non-fighters that we should look out for? I know Bergeron, he, he slipped a left jab in there a couple of years ago. So is there anybody else we should look for? Uh... You know the kid there that came up. He had a uh, McDermott. You know he had a great fight with Rupp, who uh, you know who, who's definitely established uh, a tough guy in, in the NHL, and uh, you know, he's definitely uh, did did very well in that fight. And like you said, you know Bergeron is is definitely sneaky tough. You know he, uh, he's uh, he's one of those guys. If it, when he snaps, he snaps. And um, I know you guys are real tight knit bunch in the locker room, and lends itself to plenty of nicknames, plenty of pranks. I know who has the most nicknames. It's Probably uh, Brad Marchand, obviously, but what is your favorite nickname? And I mean, who's responsible for coming up with these? Uh, I don't know. It's just kind of, you know, you know, there's a lot of chirping and, and, and stuff going on in the dressing room. And, you know, he kind of likes to be in the middle of it, give and take. And and uh, it just comes, you know, it just comes naturally, I guess, with some guys, uh, you know, saying stuff about each other. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of great nicknames on our, on our team. And like you said, Marshy has uh, a couple of them. I just stick with Marshy. Sometimes, uh, you know, you know, stick to the basics. Yeah, huh? I stick to the basics, and, and me, me and him kind of have a little thing going on because we're stall buddies at the home game. I kind of call him Wiz. Don't ask me why. I, I call him Wiz a couple times, and and that's about it. But uh, my favorite nickname on the team is probably um, is is the most clever one is Soup. You know, because a because a Campbell Soup, yep. you know, Gray Campbell. So you call him Soup Soupy. So I think that's the most clever one out of all of them. Well, Wiz, I haven't heard that one before. Uh, so it, is there any other well, new ones we should know about? It's, it's it's me and him. We got our own little thing going on. It's kind of because uh, at the start of the year, all he was doing was singing this one Wiz Khalifa song. So I started calling him Wiz. That makes sense then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, Milan, appreciate you taking the time. All right, thank and, you. And uh, thanks for dropping by. No problem.